What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Here, continuing our tour throughout the amazing Wasabi wallet. Let's get right back into it. We are here, and in the meantime, uh, I did some a couple more transactions, which we will see here in our history tab, and we also see that they are confirmed the date and the amount and of course the transaction id now when we are clicking here on send we see that uh, i have completely disregarded uh, my own rule of pr providing precise inputs but rather just more faucets import from faucets and second import from eclair but well i mean that's just how life goes uh, now when we want to send these uh, these coins we can either select them all or we can select all which are private uh, which at this point are none and we could select all that are non-private which is everyone uh, but let's not do that but let's specifically uh, select this one right here, uh, the second import from the Eclair wallet. And what we can do now is we can type in one address uh, that leads back to my Eclair phone wallet testnet. So we can label this here again, uh, transfer back to Eclair. And we can either send one part of this UTXO, for example, 0 .0 0.0.5, which would then generate a, uh, a change address, or we could send all the coins. Uh, well, let's actually make sure that we have a change output here as well. So we will only send 0 0.05 uh, of this entire UTXO. We also have a fee parameter. We can either be really slow and wait for confirmation a couple days or be really fast and wait uh, roughly 20 minutes uh, for this uh, confirmation. Well, we got time, so let's leave it at seven days. Uh, the password is, of course, the password which you have chosen to, hopefully securely, and uh, then we have to triple check if everything is in order. Uh, both the address, the uh, label, and the amount, and of course the fee. And now when we press send, it is being proposed the transaction, signed, and uh, well, sent. Uh, so we have here another uh, amount now received, which is the change of the transfer back to Eclair derived from the second import of Eclair. So here we can see how the labeling is already a really, really important as we see that this UTXO here came as the second import of Eclair, but specifically is the change of the transaction back to Eclair. And of course, it is not yet uh, it is not yet confirmed on the Bitcoin blockchain. And we also see here in the history tab that we have now a red amount uh, clearly indicating that it was sent uh, back to my phone wallet. Uh, and well, also though labeling, again, really, really important as we see specifically here. Uh, so, Piers, that's how you can easily uh, send funds with the Wasabi wallet, uh, which is, of course, very important because although holding Bitcoin is cool, every now and then again, you have to send them again. Uh, and that is quite easy with the Wasabi wallet. A couple things, uh, maybe some constructive feedback, uh, which I think would be nice here with the Wasabi, is precise fee estimation uh, of typing in the precise amount uh, of the UT or of the Satoshi per byte and not just having here this really rough one day 23 hours and so on uh, confirmation that that would be cool also maybe showing clearly what the label of the transaction idea would be here uh, which you can see in the send tab but it would be nice to see this in the history as well 
Uh, but of course, this is still very much a work in progress. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think could be done better. And also let me, of course, know what is already fantastic. Uh, and there is, I believe, a lot more cool things in the Wasabi wallet than things that still need improving. But software is never complete and it is never perfect. Uh, so, Pierce, let me know uh, how we could further improve this amazing piece of software. And until then, see you on the next show. Bye-bye.